It's the Weekly Show with David J. Maloney. So, so every year, every year, the, you'll like this one, guys. Every year, they hold a national air guitar championship in Nashville, Tennessee. The winner this year, fellow's name was, was Rob the Marquis Messel. He graciously accepted his trophy for playing air guitar and then, of course, went back to his hotel room with two imaginary groupies. <laughs> what were you looking for in casting that role? And... And what did you see in her that kind of made you go, yeah, that's, that's who I need? And I wasn't sure who, exactly what I was looking for. And it was very difficult casting. But then Emily came in and she read the script from beginning to end. And I just saw the movie. Um, do you have any specific memories or stories attached to certain films that have, that have stuck with you? Uh, the ending of episode one of The Chosen is a very emotional um, moment. And, and it was set up by... Uh, a whole episode. And one of the things that I love about One Flew Cuckoo's Nest, one of the things I love about It's a Wonderful Life, and I think any good drama does this, and this is what I think The Chosen is trying to do, is take a really powerful moment, but earn it. We called him Uncle Nick. He's a local police officer on the reservation. He was a 10 and 0 pro at the time, a uh, boxer. But his amateur career, he actually boxed Roy Jones Jr. six times. And uh, I know y'all had Roy. Then y'all had Roy. Yeah, Roy, Roy was our first and second episodes. Yeah. There's a lot of people who say you were the you're the best pound for pound boxer that's ever lived. Tell you what, it wasn't because, it wasn't because I ducked nobody. I wouldn't fight whoever they thought was close to as good as I was because if they thought he was close to good as me. I fought him or tried to find a way to fight him. And if I didn't fight him, it wasn't my fault because I should sure try it. How were you able to successfully prosecute those who were responsible so much later, so many years down the road? Well, it was a difficult process, uh, I will tell you. It, it was important to me because I had a history with the McNair family whose daughter, Denise, lost, uh, was lost in that bombing. Thinking that I saw you Just had to let you know Yeah, the cool jean jacket with the pants on the back Lighting up the bar like a match Take me to a simpler time Slow it back down to you and I You know how to break right through The only one who knows the truth Why do you think it was so hard initially in New York to find acceptance for your work? Yeah, it's... In the U.S., there's a very particular model for how films are made. Now, you've been inducted into multiple... Uh, halls of fame, mm -hmm. um, and and I guess, what does that mean to you? When you when you think about halls of fame, you think about um, people such as Chubby Checker and Gloria Gaynor and all these people that who have had these monumental long careers. I kind of want to talk about living in an on camera environment. Um, what is that like, and how long did it take to get used to it, and and or do you never really quite get used to it oh you get used to it so quick that you forget they're even there it's actually how it is but you were from Iowa how did that come about this is an interesting story I don't think a lot of people know this but um, you know I was uh, out on the high school team I wasn't really a pitcher I was a outfielder and uh, had no scholarships to, to colleges if you could go back in time and give yourself some advice what would that be uh, I think, uh, you know, when I first got to the NFL, I would tell my younger self, you know, just approach it as a business. You know, coming out of college, you know, it's all about having fun. But once you get to the NFL, it's strictly from day one of business. And a lot of young guys come into it just thinking, you know, with their heart, where they don't think with their minds. Once you kiss those lips, you'll never want to kiss another boy again. Girl, I tell you right now, you don't want to fall for him, because I already did. Sadly, 300,000 chickens recently died in a fire in Michigan. Um, it was a horrible tragedy, but it did smell delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone goes, oh. oh. <laughs> 